I have the Samsung Galaxy A34 5G and in today's tech tip I'll be showing you how to perform a hard reset. Now the main reason why you might want to perform a hard reset is because you do not have access to the phone because if you did then you'd just go ahead and perform a normal factory reset from the settings. If you have access to the phone then you don't need to do this you can just go ahead and watch my video on how to perform a soft factory reset from inside the settings for those people who have forgotten their passwords pin or patterns this is uh this is the video you're supposed to be watching so the only thing you can do to solve that problem is to do a hard reset and and then set up the phone afresh but even when you do that you'll still need the password of the google account associated with this phone okay so right now there's a google account in this phone when you're setting it up after the hard reset you'll still need that password okay so now with that out of the way let's go ahead and perform a hard reset so what you need to do is press and hold the side key and volume down and you want to press and hold these two buttons until the screen goes off and you'll feel a vibration and you'll see the samsung logo just to show you that the phone has gone off that's a forced shutdown now after that has happened release the volume down button and then hold the volume up button while still holding the side key okay until this, until the phone starts booting you will see the samsung logo then you can release the uh, power button and continue holding the volume up okay so it's 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 a bit much to take in so let me let me let me say it again so side key volume down press and hold uh, until the phone shuts off you'll see the samsung logo and feel a vibration as soon as that happens release the volume down and press the volume up while still holding the side key until you see the samsung logo again once you see it you can now release the power button and continue holding the volume up button that's going to take us into recovery mode from where we can go ahead and hard reset okay so let's go okay so uh side key volume down press and hold press and hold just keep holding keep holding keep holding there you go so release and press the volume up samsung logo appears again release power button and it should take us to the recovery mode like i'd said okay so here's our recovery mode so to continue with the hard reset just scroll down using the volume rockers volume down and then go to wipe data slash factory reset select using the power button and then it's going to tell you wipe all user data this cannot be undone scroll down to select factory data reset and confirm using the side button or the power button and that's going to start the uh, wipe data you can see all the data the data wipe is now complete as you can see down there so now all you need to do is make sure system boot system now i mean reboot system now is selected and then press the side key to select that and that's going to now reboot the phone having uh, performed a hard reset so now we're going to, it's going it should boot us back to the initial startup page where you can now start setting up your phone so here we are on the uh, welcome screen where we can now start setting up the phone uh, afresh now like i said if you had a google account or a samsung account associated with this phone then you still need it during the setup process okay so then let me quickly set up until you get to that point so let's go for uh, that so as you can see we, it's already saying an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings connect to a wi-fi or mobile network to verify your identity okay so let's connect to wi-fi So then we're going to get to this point 
Now, at this point, if, of course, the reason we did a hard reset is because we cannot remember our pattern. So tap on use my Google account instead. Tap on that. And then enter your Google account email address and password. And then it's going to allow you to continue setting up your phone. Now, if you cannot remember your Google account, then you cannot continue setting up this phone. But if you remember your Google account, you can set up. It's going to delete all the passwords, pattern or pin, uh, face ID, uh, fingerprint. It's going to erase all that so you can set it up afresh and continue using the phone. But it uses the Google account to verify that it's the owner actually doing a factory reset and it's not actually a stolen phone. So let me just sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to ask if you want to now use a new account, maybe a different account, or just continue using the previous account. So for me, I'll choose our previous account and just continue setting it up from there. But of course you can choose to use a different account. And then now it's uh, very simple. It's just a normal uh, setup process. And as you can see, the face ID, fingerprints, pin, password, and pattern have all been deleted. Okay, so now you can just, you can set a new one or you can skip and set up anyway later. Let's just go through all these and skip until you finish the setup process. And we're now back into our Galaxy A34 okay so as you can see we are all back you have full access to the phone and that's basically how to fix that issue of a forgotten password pin or pattern using a hard reset thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck